With a state election just around the corner, you can expect a flood of negative ads coming your way. While most of us like to think we're not susceptible to it, advertising gurus say there's a reason why so much money is poured into the Blitz. Josh Bavis reports. Xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. People like you, you and you. When I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof. When it comes to negative political ads, the United States presidential election arguably hit a new pitch. What the hell do you have to lose? A staggering $6.8 billion was spent by Americans seeking federal office last year, including the presidential campaign. As much as we might want to think we're not susceptible to negative ads, marketing experts say we usually are. When you take it back to that negative frame that people have in their heads about politics, about politicians, it's a very fertile place for thoughts that are negative. And with the state election on the horizon, we're being told to brace for the onslaught. Yes, we're going to cop it again. They will cut and they will privatise. I think the public would expect it to be a fair uh, campaign, but at the end of the day, it's going to be about who is the, uh, you know, the best person to lead Queensland into the future. What we'll be doing is highlighting the, the multiple and gross failures of the Labor government, whether it's rail fail, whether it's kids in, in uh, childcare, whether it's the child safety system. Former Labor MP and Queensland Speaker turned Associate Professor John McKell has seen what works and what doesn't. Yes, they do work. However, they have to be accompanied by a predisposition of the public to think that it's right anyway. <laughs> He says the 2012 campaign targeting Campbell Newman's alleged links to property developers didn't stick because the public largely didn't buy it. So in a vacuum, no, they don't. They have to tap in to an existing public mood. But gone are the days of targeting typical demographics like age brackets and incomes. Mindsets are the new objectives, with clever advertisers now honing in on groups of people with similar philosophical perspectives. Psychographics are much more important because what they do is they cross over many of those different target audiences. Uh, my, my attitude towards a certain thing may be consistent with a young mum. The election has to be held by May. While we wait on the exact date, at least we know one thing. Have hope and opportunity. This too shall pass. Josh Bavis, ABC News.